the loan charge is retrospective. It seems superficially unjust to me that they should then be retrospectively pursued for what they were told was an entirely legal option. And eliminate retrospection. HMRC didn't do the job at the time. You still can't tell us how much tax would have been due. I'm ashamed uh, of my government uh, as politicians having allowed this to go ahead and it's time they acted. The loan charge is the worst form of retrospective taxation. The HMRC are allowed to go back to 1999 to look at tax records. The records that they can look at include those in otherwise closed years. If that's not retrospective, Mr Speaker, I don't know what it is. And I really would urge the government, whatever evils have been done by promoters of these schemes, to abandon the practice of retrospective legislation. The retrospectivity which undermines basic principles of justice, the devastating impact on people's lives. What we're debating today is retrospective taxation yeah, yeah. and it is abhorrent. If these arrangements were already illegal when my constituents have been charged with them, why was it necessary to bring in the loan charge in 2017 at all? These are people who follow professional advice, declared their arrangements to HMRC, who did nothing, yet now HMRC are going back and taxing them retrospectively, all the way back to 1999. If they'd known this and they were mainstream for 20 years, why are they only acting now? And yet HMRC has seen fit to advise ministers to drive a coach and horses through very proper protections for individual citizens from excessive and unreasonable behaviour by tax authorities. That's what's happened. The fact is also that this distress has been caused by the incompetence historically of the HMRC and then by the willingness of ministers subsequently to use retrospective action in taxation. In 2005, my right honourable friend, the Chancellor, said certainty and transparency are the hallmarks of a fair, effective and competitive tax system. A taxpayer is entitled to know with certainty what he may or may not do in planning his tax affairs, end quote. And this is why I object to retrospective legislation which undermines uh, the rule of law. Is it true to say that HMRC needed a legal power to tax loans made as far back as 1999 because of its own failures to open inquiries or raise assessments at that proper time. Why ask for 20 years retrospective payment for something which was and is legal? And so that any loan charge would only come into effect after rule assent of the 2017 Finance Act. It's retrospective and it undermines the cornerstone of taxation that a government should not seek to impose or increase a tax charge on income earned, gains realised or transactions included at a time before the legislation was announced. Trust in the rule of law and our democratic system is at stake. Yeah. This should not be retrospective at all before 2017. Now, under the Taxes Administration Act, Section 9 of 1970, we have been giving taxpayers in that situation total protection from the HRC coming back to them. That's been for decades. Indeed, we've signed international conventions to say that is the way individuals should be treated. And here we are going back on that. It's a matter of justice. HMRC allowed these schemes to run for a very long period of years yeah, yeah. and then declared them retrospective all the way back to the beginning. The nature of the retrospection which is the issue that's caused me, as well as my constituents' cases, to be so passionate about this point. I asked them if they had, could find any example ever on the statute books of a government passing a law to override those taxpayer uh, protections, and they could not. Certainty that comes from knowing that if your actions are lawful at the time they're carried out, they will not subsequently be challenged yeah, through yeah, retrospective yeah, yeah. legislation. I'm sorry, you can't come now and penalise our constituents with tax bills of tens of thousands of pounds because HMRC couldn't do their job properly. That's not acceptable. Do not understand why the HMRC now thinks it's fair to go back over records up to 20 years old and unexpectedly ask for sums of tens and hundreds of thousands of pounds of ordinary hard-working people. It completely baffles me. The approach being taken circumvents taxpayer protections. To back my proposal for review of retrospection in a law called the loan charge. <laughs>
which offends against the rule of law. The loan charge is, however, retrospective in its effect. It is not just, it is not fair for them to be pursued retrospectively. So HMRC were aware of, of what was happening. There was no attempt to hide here. So characterising it as tax avoidance retrospectively seems wholly unjust. How does an ordinary lay person forecast what HMRC will decide in 10 or 20 years' time? And notwithstanding the trouble of retrospective law in general, 18 years is a very long time to disapprove of something and not say you don't approve it and not act to fix it. This means that the legislation is not retrospective because the legislation sets out the intention of Parliament. HMRC knew that these schemes were inappropriate from the outset. Uh, so is he saying then that HMRC are not malevolent but indiligent, inefficient, ineffective. But if they'd known this and they were mainstream for 20 years, why are they only acting now? It's deeply unfair that we seek to do this retrospectively. It absolutely violates the core principles of the rule of law. All of a sudden we change the law uh, and retrospectively ruin the lives of uh, many people. The retrospective element which is particularly disturbing. They're pursuing an aggressive <laughs> policy which, on any analysis, is retrospective. But the retrospective nature of the loan charge, which basically went back to some people 20 years, even years where the tax affairs have been closed. The biggest problem with this is the retrospective nature of it. Now, this really is the criminal aspect of this, that you declare a scheme and then 20 years later or 10 years later they come back and say, sorry, we haven't closed your year, you can pay now. The Treasury has consistently taken the view that this is technically uh, not retrospective. But our constituents don't live in the technical world, they live in the real world. Sir John Thompson explains this committee that the loan charge was not retrospective because people had three years to get their affairs in order before the loan charge kicked in. And if they did so, they wouldn't have to pay the loan charge. But doesn't it feel very retrospective if getting their affairs in order means people having to pay tax for years that would otherwise be time barred, as was referred to earlier, so-called years that are not protected? How's that justified? Because sometimes the powers that HMRC have got do not require them to act reasonably and fairly. All of those principles of taxation, the rules for good application of tax, have been broken. But I also think that the retrospectivity is deeply questionable. Yeah. Yeah. By HMRC not speaking out and by not acting to prevent these loan schemes being used for 18 years, while, while they maybe did not give explicit approval, they certainly gave implicit acceptance. Right. They are being tacked retrospectively for something that was technically allowed at the time. What's more, the 20-year range proposed is usually reserved for blatant acts of criminality. And, and course, you're not going after these people? Well, well uh, the difficulty is that uh, unless they've done something that's actually illegal, uh, it is very hard. Uh, and of course, we're not uh, seeking in any case to pass retrospective legislation that would allow us to go after those promoters. HMRC have always said that these arrangements were unacceptable, but I haven't seen anything prior to 2016 to suggest that was the case. In reality, the retrospective effect actually displaces all the protections that taxpayers are given by Parliament in terms of getting certainty for their affairs. The point is it's clearly retrospective. When you take into account, firstly, the failure of HMRC to take effective action for all those years, and secondly, the fundamental protections that every taxpayer should expect government's loan charge and its retrospective implementation. There's something unbecoming about the nature with which this government is kind of flying the plane when making up the rules as they go along. Like, these are just changing the rules halfway through. If we don't like the rules, change them. And to take action now, after 20 years, is totally unfair, defies all laws of natural just I will at least, and I suspect many others in this house, will start to pursue a, a, uh, a, a right in law for every citizen 
that limits the, the extent to which the state, and particularly HMRC, can a, take any retroactive action whatsoever against persons. Is the retrospective nature of this. In going back to uh, 1999, the loan charge is retrospective. What's clear is the retrospective loan charge is causing huge pain and upset. There is something seriously wrong. The Chancellor will know that one of the fiscal policies this government has, which is fundamentally wrong, is the loan charge retrospective taxes on our constituents. A removal of the retrospective nature of the charge, certainly not going back further than 2017 when the charges were first announced. The current Chancellor of the Exchequer in 2005 said a taxpayer is entitled to be protected from retrospective or retroact retroactive taxation. So you might not call it retrospective, you might call it retroactive. Frankly, it's the same thing for the ordinary person. Retrospective. 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 Retrospectivity. Retrospective. 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 A retrospective tax grant. Retrospective. 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 Retrospection. It completely baffles me. Retrospection. Retrospective. Retrospective. It's retrospective and it undermines the cornerstone of taxation that a government should not seek to impose or increase a tax charge on income earned, gains realised or transactions included at a time before the legislation was announced. Retrospective. 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 The loan charge should apply from Royal Assent on onwards. In, in other words, it should be prospective. This is a case I've made many times and not retroactive or retrospective. This does feel off. It feels like a retrospective tax grab. Retrospective. Clearly. Retrospective. 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 Unjust. Retrospective. The loan charge is retrospective.